Amen. We are just going to our congregational prayer. Arise from my grave. My blessings arise from the grave. My blessings arise from the grave. And I pray that the God of heaven will cause every of our blessings to arise from the grave in Jesus' name. Our first prayer point is taken from the book of Romans, chapter 4, verse 25. He said, He was delivered up for our trespasses and raised for our justification. Today we've just been saying, Father, we thank you, God, for your, we thank you, everlasting Father, for loving me so much that you gave up your one and only Son, Jesus Christ, as the atoning sacrifice for my sins. And I also thank you for raising him up from the dead that I might be justified in you. Let us begin to pray. Oh God of heaven, we just want to bless your name, oh God. For the grace, oh God, you've given unto us. Thank you, God, for your love, oh God. That you love us so much. Even when we are yet sinners, you sent your only begotten son to come to the earth, to die for us, and to be raised up for our justification. Father, we bless you. We give you praise. We give you honor. We give you adoration, oh God. Thank you, Jesus, oh God, for that which you've done. Thank you, Jesus, oh God, for what you're doing. We bless you, Lord. We give you praise. We give you honor. We say be thou exalted in Jesus' name. Father, we just bless you, God. We give you all the praise of God. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Our next prayer point is from the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 2. It says, For in Christ Jesus, the law of the spirit of life has set you free from the law of sin and death. We're going to say, thank you, merciful Father, for setting me free from the clutches of sin and death in Jesus' name. Let's begin to pray. Oh, God of heaven, we just want to thank you, God, for the victory and for the grace you've given unto me. Oh, Lord God, that you set me free, oh God, from the power of sin and death. I bless your name. I give you all the praise. I give you all the honor. I give you all adoration, oh God. Oh, God, for you setting us free from the, from the power of sin, from the power of death from the fear of death, from the clutches of the devil, from the clutches of, God, of the witches, or of the wizard. We thank you, Jesus, O oh God. We bless your name, O oh God, for setting us as free, O oh God. Jesus, we bless you and we adore you, O oh God. Thank you, Lord, O oh God. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Matthew 28, verse 2 said, There was a violent earthquake, for an angel of the Lord came down from heaven and going to the tomb, rolled back the stone and sat on it and i pray that even as that angel of god ruled away that stone and sat on it that every stone that the enemy has put before any of us that the angel of god will rule it away and sit on it so that nobody will be able to roll it back in jesus name our prayer point says my father my father send forth your angel that rolled away that the stone at the tomb of jesus to rule away every stone the enemy has set before my blessings in jesus name let me to pray Oh God of heaven, we pray and we declare, Lord, in Jesus' name, that, oh Lord, as you sent forth that angel that day, I pray, oh Lord, let the angel of God be sent forth into our lives, into the body of Christ, into our midst, to roll away every stone in the name of Jesus. Let there be a violent earthquake that will cause our enemies to tremble, and let the angel of God roll away the stone and to sit on it, so no one can roll it back in Jesus' name. You said in your word, in Nahum chapter 1 verse 9, say, affliction shall not arise again a second time. And we decree and we declare that afflictions shall not arise again in our lives a second time in Jesus' name, that never again will the stone be rolled over our blessing, that never again will the stone be rolled over our favor, that never again will the stones be rolled over our grace, that never again will the stones of the enemy be rolled over our joy in Jesus' name. Father, we bless you, God, we give you praise. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Matthew chapter 28, we read from verse 3 to 4. His appearance, speaking of the angel, was like lightning. And his clothes were like were white as snow. The guards were afraid of him. And they shook and became like dead men. Amen. We're going to pray and say, Angel of God, arise with the drawn sword and terrify all the wicked guards. The enemy has put to ensure that my blessings will not manifest in Jesus. Now let's me to pray. Oh God of heaven, oh Lord, we pray that as you as the angel of God manifested and terrify the guards all at the tomb of Jesus. Today we pray that the angel of God will terrify every God, every man, every woman, every spirit, every being 
that has been posted at the door of our manifestation in Jesus' name. That they will become as dead men in the name of Jesus. That they become as dead men in Jesus' name. That let the terror of God come upon our enemies. That our blessings may come forth even now in Jesus' name. Father, we bless you, God. We give you praise. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Romans chapter 8, verse 11 reads, said, And if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead is living in you, he, also, he who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies because of his spirit who lives in you. And we know that the spirit of the living God is inside of us. Today we're going to pray and say, Mighty God, release upon my life the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead so that all that is dead in our lives will be quickened and come alive in Jesus' name. Let's be the praying. Oh God of heaven, oh Lord, we pray that the Holy Spirit of God, that same spirit that rose Christ from the dead, we begin to manifest inside of us that everything that is dead in our life, everything that is dead in our situation, everything that is dead, oh Lord God, among us, we will receive life, receive a quickening right now in Jesus' name, oh God. Oh God of heaven, we pray for the manifestation of God in the name of Jesus, that oh Lord, let the same spirit that rose Christ from the dead quicken us, O oh God, to receive life, to receive strength, to receive grace right now in Jesus' name. Father, we bless your name, O oh God, we give you praise. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. Matthew chapter 28, verse 3 to 4. Say, his appearance was like lightning, and his clothes were white as snow. The gods were so afraid of him that they shook and became like dead men. Our prayer point from that passage says, Mighty God, let my enemy become like dead men. At the manifestation and deliverance, you will rot in our lives in Jesus' name. Let's begin to pray. Oh God of heaven, we pray and we declare, Lord, in the name of Jesus, that, oh Lord, that by the manifestation, and by the miracles you do in our lives, let those sort of the people, oh God, who are making mockery of us, oh God, become like as dead men in Jesus' name, that they will see God's goodness, they will see God's power, they will see God's grace over our, our lives, and they will say, Indeed, God is with, with them in Jesus' name, that oh God of heaven, that let our enemies, oh God, see the goodness of God in our lives, and they will become as dead men in Jesus' name. Let your word in Psalm 23 come to pass. It says, He has set a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Let our enemies see that table which you have set before us and let them be as dead men in Jesus' name. Let them be terrified that they may know that indeed God is fighting for us in Jesus' name. Father, we bless you. In Jesus' name, we are praying. John 11:43. So when he had said this, Jesus called in a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. Today I want you to cry with a loud voice and say, my blessing, my blessing, my blessing. Come out from the grave from which the enemy has buried you in Jesus. Now let me to pray. Oh God of heaven, I decree that my blessing, my favor, my honor, my grace, oh Lord, our abundance, our upliftment, our transformation, our, 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 our all the goodness of God that has been pronounced upon us, our healing, oh God of heaven, come out, come out today from wherever the enemy has buried you in Jesus' name. Even as Jesus Christ called unto Lazarus, and he that was dead for four days came forth. Today we pray that every of our blessings that has been killed, every of our blessings that has been shot in the grave, can say come out today in Jesus' name. My blessings manifest. My blessings manifest in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Colossians chapter 2 verse 15, he said, Having disarmed the powers and authorities, he made a public spectacle of them. He made a public disgrace of them, triumphing over them by the cross. We're going to pray. the mighty God, disgrace the household powers, tormenting my life by the work of your resurrection in Jesus' name. Let's pray. Oh God of heaven, will we pray and we declare, Lord, in Jesus' name, that every power challenging us, the household powers, the powers of our father's house, the powers of our mother's house, the territorial spirits, the territorial powers, 
that are challenging us, saying we will not excel, saying we will not succeed. Today we pray that as you disgrace, oh Lord, the powers and the authorities, oh God, are making public spectacle of them, triumphing over them in victory. I pray that today, that you will do today in our lives, in Jesus' name. Oh God of heaven, oh Lord, let the powers be disgraced, that our blessings will manifest, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Jeremiah chapter 22, verse 29. Say, O land, 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 hear the word of the Lord. We're going to pray and say, O earth, O earth, hear the word of the Lord. Vomit all my blessings that the enemy has buried inside of you in Jesus' name. Whatever the enemy has buried in, in the grave because of you, they have said, as long as this is in the grave, that oh, the, the, the grave and the dead and the living has nothing together. Therefore, your blessings will never come to you. Today, we, we speak to the ground and say, O oh, earth, O oh, earth, hear the word of the Lord. Vomit all our blessings. The enemy has buried inside of you in Jesus. And let's be to pray. Oh God of heaven, Lord, we stand up for your word in the name of Jesus. I come to the Jeremiah chapter 29. We say, O oh, earth, O oh, earth, O oh, earth, hear the word of the Lord. Vomit every of our blessings. That the enemy has buried inside of you in Jesus' name. The Bible says in the book of Revelation, chapter 12, he said, The earth helped the woman. He opened his mouth and helped the woman. And we pray today that the earth will open his mouth and help us and vomit out every of our blessing and to open his mouth and swallow up every flood of the enemy in Jesus' name. Oh, earth, oh, earth, hear the word of the Lord. Oh, release our blessings even unto us. Right now, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Romans chapter 6, verse 4. Say, We therefore were buried with him through baptism into death, in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead through the glory of the Father, we too may walk in newness of life. We're going to pray. Say, Father, let the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ sincerely come alive in the heart of the church and those who are lost and need salvation that we may walk that they may walk in the newness of life in Christ Jesus. Let's begin to pray. Oh God of heaven, Lord, we pray, oh God, for the church today, oh God. We intercede, oh God. We stand in that place, oh God, as intercessors for the body of Christ and we speak, oh God. Let the bear death, the burial, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ overcome our life into the body of the church in Jesus' name. That as many that are listening, that as many that are watching, receive grace, receive mercy, that the reality of the death and resurrection of Christ come alive into them in the name of Jesus, that they may walk in the newness of God in Jesus' name. This we ask of you, O God. This we pray, O oh Lord. This we decree, O oh God. In the name of Jesus. This we decree in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Matthew 28, verse 6. He is not here. He has risen. Just as he said. Come and see the place where he lay. The angel of the Lord affirmed. He is not here. Today we are going to pray and say, Father, as it was declared that Jesus was risen, I was no longer in the realm of the dead. I decree that the angels of God will pronounce my blessings and opportunities to leave the realm of the dead and they may manifest in our lives in Jesus' name. Let's be praying. Oh God of heaven, oh Lord, I pray and I declare, oh God, I stand, oh God, as, oh Lord, as a priest to oh God over this church. And I pray over this one to God that any of the blessings that the enemy has locked up in any place, today I pray. That no longer is no longer be there in Jesus' name. That oh Lord, that their favor leaves the realm of the dead and come unto them in Jesus' name. That their healing come unto them right now in Jesus' name. That they are no longer in the place of limitation. They are no longer in the place of, of, of stagnancy. They are no longer in the place of, of barrenness. They are no longer in the place of, of backwardness. They are no longer in the place of sickness. They are no longer in the place of poverty. In the name of Jesus, the oh God of heaven, oh Lord, that your people, oh God, we begin to advance. They will begin to advance uh, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, oh God. In Jesus' name, we are praying. First Corinthians chapter one verse eight. He said, "If he will also keep you from, if he will also keep you firm 
to the end so that you will be blameless on the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. We're going to pray and say, Father, keep me firm to the very end that you may indeed find me blameless on the day of our Lord Jesus Christ in Jesus. And let's going to pray. O God of heaven, Lord, we pray, Lord, in the name of Jesus, that, O God, that let our walk on earth, let our journey as believers not be in vain in Jesus' name. Let not be, let, let our testimony not be like Judas Iscariot that fell off, O God, from the wagon in the name of Jesus. But, O God of heaven, that you will keep us firm to the very end, that we will be blameless to the day of the Lord in Jesus' name. That in our words, in our thoughts, in our actions, in our deeds, in our life, in everything we do, O oh God, how oh God will be blameless in Jesus' name. Even among men, the grace will live a blameless life. You will give to us in Jesus' name. Thank you for all of the God we give you praise. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Daniel chapter 10, verse 13, read, he said, But the prince of Persia, the, but the prince of the Persian kingdom, resisted me 21 days. Then Michael, one of the chief princes, came to help me. Because I was detained there with the king of Persia. Today we're going to pray and say, Mighty God, every power, every of my blessing that is hid in the realm of the, or, 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 or in, in the dream realm, let them manifest now in Jesus' name. Maybe I will explain it better. Many of us, we've seen our blessings in the dream. Whenever we sleep, we see yourself getting that job. You see yourself having those children. You see yourself being promoted. You see yourself living a godly life. But in the physical, it seems as if those things do not manifest. Today we're going to pray and say, oh God of heaven, every of our blessings that has been stuck or that has been hid in the, in the dream realm, today, oh God of heaven, let them manifest in Jesus' name. Let's going to pray. Oh God of heaven, we pray and we declare in the name of Jesus, oh God, that every of our blessings, oh God, has been stuck in the dream realm, that the enemy has kept and has hidden and has, oh God, and has, has, has concealed in the realm of, 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 of dreams that says, oh God, we can only see it in our dream, but it will not manifest to us in the physical. Today, oh God of heaven, we decree and we declare that let them manifest now in the name of Jesus. Let our blessings manifest now in the name of Jesus. Let our blessings manifest now in the name of Jesus. Let our blessings manifest now in the name of Jesus. Father, we bless you, Lord. We give you praise. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Lastly, our prayer point, or second to the last, is from Jude chapter 1, verse 8. It says, Likewise, also, these filthy dreamers defile the flesh, despise dominion, and speak evil of dignities. Today, we're going to pray and say, Mighty man of war, I rise and overturn all the power of the dream polluters over my life. And all that concerns us in Jesus' name. Let's going to pray. Oh God of heaven, Lord, we pray and we declare Lord, in the name of Jesus that every power of the dream polluters, such powers that come to the dream to defile, to pollute, to overturn, to manipulate the, the revelation that God has given unto us. Today we overthrow, we resist, and we bind them in the name of Jesus. I say every power of the dream polluters be put to shame in the name of Jesus. Let the dream polluters receive judgment in the name of Jesus. Father, we bless you. We give you praise in Jesus' name. We are praying. Amen. Lastly, our, our prayer point is from Deuteronomy 3, verse 3. He said, Call to me and I will answer you. I will tell you great and unsearchable things you do not know. So we will say, Thank you, everlasting Father, for your answering our prayers. For we know, oh Lord, even as we have called, our calling will not be in vain. In Jesus' name, let's be to pray. Oh God of heaven, Lord, thank you, God, for the privilege you've given unto us, oh God. Thank you, God, for all oh Lord your answer for answering our prayers. Father, oh Lord, we give thanks to you. Oh Lord, because we you you have said it as we have called on you, you you have answered us. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Father, in Jesus' name we pray. Our Heavenly Father, we give thanks to you. We worship you Hallelujah. for this grace and privilege given to us. Hallelujah. For us to be here today, the 21st day of uh, April 2019. You made us to see the, the resurrection Sunday morning. Thank you, God. 
it is a wonderful thing. Hallelujah. It's a privilege. Amen. We say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Lord, all that you have done to have opened the gate of heaven, the paradise, to have opened the paradise for us, to have put the enemy under our under chain and lock, to have given us all power over the power of darkness, the witches Jesus. and wizards, because you swallowed them up. You defeated them all. And all that you did, you gave them to us. You say, all power in heaven, all power on earth below, and below the earth are in your hand. And you gave us that power. That in the name of Jesus, let them begin to bow. Amen. Father, we thank you. Thank you God. We seal all the prayers we have called on you for. This morning, we seal it with the blood of Jesus. Let none of them be aborted in Jesus' name. Amen. Even what we never think of. Because you are interceding for us. Yes. That that is good for us that we have never spoken or we have never thought of. We receive them now in Jesus' name. Amen. And today, let the Spirit of the Lord go all over the land. Amen. All over the sea. Amen. To touch the heart of Men and women, boys and girls, you have created. Those that you have foreknown that will serve you. Anywhere they are, let them be touched. Amen. That they may see you. Amen. Let them see your light. Amen. The truth. Amen. And come to the light. Amen. Father, let it be so in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus, because you have heard us. You, For in Jesus' name, we pray.